Welcome everybody back to another episode of the Guardian Gauntlet, and we have the same matchup as yesterday. Okay, so we're against Honor, I guess. I got to I got to redo it. I got another chance. All right. Oh, it's a Masters player with the star on Honor. Okay, so it's a it's a better on her. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I can rush Bancrofts. I go War is Blessing. Hmm. Let's let's try rushing Bancrofts. I think my mistake last time. If I actually, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what my mistake was last time. Oh shoot! What do I go? Thorns Bracer. All I know. If I remember correctly, I did a different start last time. I think I skipped Bancrofts. I think that might have kind of screwed me over in terms of power. The rushing boots helped, but it, it I it, I just kind of fell behind because I didn't have the power and I died and lost everything in one kill. So that kind of sucks. But we're not going to make the same mistake. If I have to go triple defense, I'll go triple defense. Okay? Because we're not going to make the same mistake. Okay, good damage. It takes a lot of autos for him to kill that. He's not gonna let me push him, that's fine. I'm just gonna use that three to clear the wave. And then my Nene, hopefully I can hit him with it. Good, good damage. Okay, we need to run because on her passive hurts. Okay, I push him into the red buff. Good damage. Does he have he has horrific? Whoa, okay, nice. Uh that's a good kill. Yeah, uh I was checking the relic to make sure he didn't have a bracer or anything like that. Otherwise he would have lived and I would have died to this red buff. But since he had horrific, he went a very aggressive start. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Got red buff and I might get more. Okay, we're off to a good start. Let's not throw it. I can get my Bancrofts. I just love all right, let's go. Also, I've, I've recently I've realized that I've been putting a little bit too much time into my stream rather than YouTube because it's like, yeah, I've been uploading a lot of Guardian Gauntlets, but that's not what everyone's here for, you know? I've had multiple videos I've wanted to edit and upload to YouTube for a while now, and I just haven't had the time. So I think I might change my stream schedule to stream only five days a week rather than six. And that way I can do more YouTube content. Because I have a nice a nice Kepri video on the way. Because, like, YouTube's my main audience, you know? Oh, he's already half health. He's already half health. He's going to have to leap away here. Yeah. I might actually go in and ult him since he has no... He has no bracer. Okay, push him into the wall. Nay, nay. Good stuff. He was CC chained. He couldn't do anything. He could have maybe activated his ult. In that case, I would have just continued my ult out or used my 3 to get away. I would have gotten his ult for my ult, which would have been okay. But he would have been pressured out. So either way, it turned out good. It turned out best case scenario. All right, let's go get those minis. Actually, no, we don't have the mana. And I'm kind of stingy about my potions. <laughs> okay. One step closer to Earth's domination. Yeah, the potions are mainly for the first the first way or the first time you're in, in lane. That way you can stay longer and they don't get red buff. But since I got first blood so fast, I didn't have to use any of my potions. Which is which is nice. I think I heard him at his blue buff. Yeah, so he took the minis and then went to his blue. Now he's back in lane. I can gank him. We can we need to keep the snowball going. I'm not gonna lose the guarding gauntlet. Not gonna go back on Kuzumbo. All right, just need one auto here. Why did he not horrific me? He could have horrific me, and then I would have had to dip. He's holding onto that horrific like, like crazy. I wouldn't have been able to get him. I would have had to wait for cooldowns, and he might have gotten away. Either way, we're three and zero at this point. As now, here's the dangerous thing. I'm so far ahead where if I die. If I die, he can make a huge comeback. Like, he can... My respawn timer will be long, and he can take tower, maybe Phoenix, and he'll pretty much be neck and neck with me in gold. That's the only thing about Snowball now, is that it has the risk in case they get a return kill. Oh, 
Rub buff is up again. He's gonna have to use the impale on the wave or to, or to try and steal this. He could try and ult this, but I don't think he's gonna be able to. Oh, I messed up the bounce, that's fine. If he stole that because I messed up the bounce, that would have sucked. Okay, okay, put another point in my one rather than my ult to max it. Do some poke. Okay, that does a quarter of his health. That is not bad at all. That does more than a quarter of his health. He's holding on to that horrific card. And since he went Devos, this is actually a start that takes a while to get online. He's probably going to leave. Okay. Well, if I can push him into those minions. Nice. Yeah, Kuzbo's ult, just good CC chain. I don't know if he's going to F6 or not, but if he does, we'll do another game. Alright. Yeah, so if I lose this, I gotta go back to Kumba. If I win this, I go to Sobek? If that's right? No. Yes, I don't remember. I think Sobek. That sounds right. Alright, alright. Clear the wave. Low on mana. Gonna clear the wave and then dip. Alright, and then dip. Okay. I'll actually use one of the potions so we can take blue buff first for more XP and gold. You know, the faster you take blue buff, the faster it respawns, more XP and gold you get. So, like, had I backed and then came and got it, it would have taken longer for it to respawn. It's a small thing that I'm getting better at, but it, it, it does matter. Since I have the Snowball, I will go Breastplate instead of Nemean. We can get Nemean later, but Breastplate will further our Snowball, keep our cooldowns high, you know, or cooldowns low. CDR goes up, cooldowns go down. All right, that works. Okay, he used his escape. If I hurry on over here. No, he's recalling. Ooh, how much damage do I do to Bull Demon? I really doubt he would come over here. And Bull Demon, since we're so early into this game, Bull Demon doesn't have that much health yet. It hasn't scaled any health, or only a little bit. So I might be able to sneak this without him even knowing. Just due to how squishy Bull Demon is right now. There we go. Nice. We have a really nasty snowball going right now. Oh, so you can't impale me? Is he going to leap over the wall? I'm guessing he is. Yep. Okay, should be able to bounce him. Oh, I didn't hit him. Your tower's down, buddy. Oh, he hit that. I was not expecting him to hit that. All right, in this case, we'll just clear wave and then run. Otherwise, he's, he's going to chase me in circles. He ults wave like through on her main? Okay, let's go. He's wasting our bull demon time. Let's just use it. Hopefully he recalls and doesn't go for red buff, because that would suck. Hopefully the Nene should be able to help us clear as take this as well. Okay, he's just going after the wave. I should be able to kill this before it comes back up. He's gonna go for a red or for me? Okay, he's going for me. His hunter's busting evolved. He has defense. How many autos was this? You know, only took me 35 autos to kill that. Only took me 35 autos. All right, let's go get red buff. Cool, 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 cool. This is how the game should have went against the other on her. Also, if anyone doesn't know my rank, I think I am Diamond 5 right now. Uh, ever since when the when the split reset, I started in Silver, and I've had to work my way up. But I think I'm finally back in Diamond. Let's get Spear online. Or Spear. Divine Rune. Divine Rune. Then we'll get Thorns, of course. A Relic that's actually pretty decent now is Relic Dagger. They Relic Dagger has been a meme for a long time, but if you look at the stats, it's always given a good amount of health. But now that it gives 40 seconds reduction on the on the uh, uh, the relics, that's like huge. Every fight you have your relics. So if every fight I have my thorns, we can win every single fight. So I might get relic dagger. One thing I talk about on my stream a lot is that you should never have a cookie cutter build. And a cookie cutter build is when you have a build set and you build it no matter what you're up against. That is bad. You don't want to ever do that. So when people ask me what's a good build on X God. 
I kind of, I try to explain it in situational. Like, if you're up against a healer, if you're up against a hunter, you know, because you should always be building different. Um, unless, unless they're going, like, the pure average dual stuff. Then it's like, okay, yeah, you're going to have the same build because that's optimal. But every, pretty often you're going to go up against something unusual, like double lifesteal or something. You need to be able to counter it. Because if you don't, you get steamrolled. So in this situation, Honor's going a pretty normal build, except he went Devos instead of, you know, something else. So that's why I got my, I'm getting my Divine Rune for some anti-heal. He does, what are you doing there? Okay. Good block, I guess. He's gonna leap over the wall. Yep. All right, this guy's playing PVE. That's fine. This guy's playing PvE big time. I have wards, so I know where he's going. He's trying to give me the juke around. Your middle tower is under attack. Uh, I might need to get movement speed against this guy. If he wants to play like this. Got him. He's slowed. I'm slowed. He's ulting wave like a true on her main. All right. Okay, I'm out and go off and try doing that for CC Mindy. Alright, if this guy's gonna play like this, we're gonna get Polly. Can I afford full Polly now instead of my defense? No. Okay, in that case, Divine Rune, Polly, wards again. I'm gonna go for Bull Demon. If he goes to Bull Demon, we kill him. We're three levels ahead. We just gotta save our, make sure our ultimate is up. And we gotta bait out his escape. That's all we have to do. Oh, well, first, red buff. Red buff, so we're, uh, we're a force to be reckoned with. And then we'll get, uh, Bull Demon. Since he's playing a little PvE right now, I'm going to last it this wave up until red spawns. Like, not for that long. Just until red spawns. Okay. Okay, he missed me. Nice. Use my two to get my cooldowns back. Bounce the red buff. Okay, let's go for bull demon. We'll clear the wave, then go for bull demon. Right, he's going for blue. It's fine. Use my two to get my one. Okay, let's go. Also, I'll be trying to use different skins from now on. Because... Someone pointed out that if I if I play a god multiple times, I should use a different skin. So that's why we're using this one. It's a nice one. Okay. He is coming over here. I'm going to pretend I don't see him, and then I'm going to turn around and throw a nanny at him. Oh, he, he knew it was coming. Should I commit to it, or should I not? Are you going to run away when you got a good imp impale on me? Really? This guy is afraid of something. That's for sure. Holy moly. I'm dead. Unfortunately, I'm dead. Ah. Alright, so I can't take Bull Demon. This guy is ulting wave and running away. I'm, I, don't tell me I'm going to lose. Is he going to get my tower and phoenix off of this because I didn't clear the wave? Oh my god, dude. Dual socks. Are you kidding me? Don't get my phoenix too. Don't tell me he gets my phoenix. Please, no. Four seconds. No, he's back in. Okay. He could have probably gotten half my phoenix easily. I don't have a blink. I need an Amin at this point as well. So we'll start working towards that. I used my bracer at a bad time there. I didn't heal that much, unfortunately, but there wasn't... I, I held on to it a little bit too long. This guy. This guy's alting wave and running away. And see what I mean? He got one kill. I was three levels ahead. Now I'm only one level ahead. He's about to level up as well. So now we're pretty much the same level. Oh, you got words too. All right. I don't know if this buff is coming up soon or not. Either way, I'm going to get this. Get a sentry. One step closer to Earth's domination. I don't like fighting against stuff like this. I don't have pen right now. I rushed the poly before my pen, which is not that good. I was mainly doing it for the snowball. Oh, I didn't even get to push him into the wave. That's bad. This is really bad. I'm gonna clear the wave just in case I die. Just in case. 
And he's running away. Okay, I'll run away too. We want to play like that? We can play like that. Okay. He gets red buff, unfortunately. Is that going to be a frostbound? Oof. Okay. Start working towards an obsidian. I could maybe go for a spear of death. So, how much protection does he have? 114? I am. He. I am able to apply my abilities pretty fast. Like, pretty, pretty close in between, you know? You impel me away. This guy got executioner. He's gonna help me. Oh, I tried to get on the other side of him. But obviously it didn't work. Oh, I almost got him. Okay, I juke that. I'm gonna just have to straight up auto attack him. What? What? Are you Oh, no. I'm not going to lose to this guy, am I? This guy that's ulted the wave four times? Duel sucks, man. I just don't have my pen online. My poly's hitting for nothing because it's all getting mitigated. I made the, the mistake of getting poly too early because I thought I was snowballing so hard. Oh, not the same matchup. Not the same way. Come on, not the same way. I didn't even get to place my sentry. Alright, well at least he didn't get my titan. Okay. I need obsidian bad. Please don't tell me that's a frostbound. Alright, well now this guy's actually playing aggressive. He got a frostbound. Wow, frostbound on her. Okay. Does he know the pillar trick? He doesn't know the pillar trick. Why'd you do that? Why on earth did you do that? That must have been a mistake. <gasps> I missed! No! Don't run away, dude! Don't run away! Oh, no. He's just gonna leap over the wall. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, impel me away. Impel me away. Yeah. Okay, you missed. Dude, this game sucks. This game actually sucks. I can't even chase him because fire minions will win the game. Oh my god, he went frostbound. I gotta sell my boots for Wingblade or something dumb. That should have been a kill. Should have been a kill. No, don't make me go all the way back to Kumba. We are playing Guardians though. The keyboard warriors are going to come out for this game. I already can see the comments. Alright, let's see. You got red buff. Can't fight him with red. Unless I push him through the wave. That frostbound is so annoying. You got toxic blade. It's over. Oh my god, dude. Oh, Smite sucks, man. I was 4-0 and oh, and he got one kill and got even with me. Uh, but I couldn't do anything. I had to go for Bull Demon. He was, he was ulting wave and running away and I didn't have the leap, so I couldn't leap over him to chase him over the wall. That sucks, man. Shouldn't have got that poly. Should have went for the Obsidian. Obsidian sucks too because it doesn't even help you take objectives. Objectives. Dang, that really sucks. All right, GG.